Hi, my name is Tammy. This is the Rusted Willow and welcome to my channel. Tonight we are going to be doing a haul video. I have Ikea items, I have Dollar Tree items, and I have jo a few Joanne items, and I also have a haul from my sister's house. <laughs> That's gonna be something I'll probably do periodically. We're just gonna call it my sister haul. Um, my sister is a minimalist. She likes to keep it simple. So every now and then she goes through her craft stash or her home decor and it comes to my house. She loves to shop, but she also loves to purge and clean. So I'm the beneficiary of her purging and I love it because she buys some really cool stuff. So we're going to start with Ikea because I haven't been to Ikea in probably a year and a half. Ikea is about three and a half hours away from where I live and um, I got to go there a couple weekends ago so I was really excited about that. I found a few cute things so let's get started with Ikea. Um, so one of the first things I'm really excited about is I got these plastic containers and you know the little ones they use for vinyl I don't know what any of this stuff is called, so I'm just gonna hold it up and y'all can just read it for yourself. Um, I don't wanna butcher the names of it, but these go together. They're like plastic bag holders or um, I plan on putting my vinyl in here because I bought the other size, the littler size, and I didn't like how, I didn't like how the vinyl went in there. So anyway, I'm hoping that I can use this for my craft supplies and and hopefully some of my vinyl to get it out of a drawer so I can free up a drawer for more craft supplies. Anyway, I was really excited about that. Oh, maybe I was putting that together backwards. I think it goes like this because it's got sticky on the back so it sticks on the wall. So that's cool. Anyway, so it looks like this. Okay, so I got two of those and those are really cool and I'm really excited to to use those. I got two of the cubes because they're nicer, bigger cubes. We're going to be doing, and this is called Drona, maybe? D-R-O-N-A. Um, anyway, it's a cube. It's a gray cube. Um, I plan on using it in my pantry. Not my pantry. I don't even know where I'm going to use it. No, I am planning on using it in my linen closet for my sheets. Um, so that'll be a clean with me video because I need to organize my linen closet. My husband has to have three closets. He has part of the linen closet. He has his closet, not three closets. He's got two closets and a, almost a full dresser. Um, he's got more clothes than any man I've ever known. So anyway, um, I got two of those four sheets and then I have some blankets in there and we're gonna go through that whole thing. Um, I did get a pillow insert. This is a 16 by 26 and um, it's like this pillow here that I made. This pillow cover, so it looks like this when you take it out of the package. Really cool. Anyway, it's a feather pillow, really nice. I love their inserts. Oh my goodness, that's a mess. Because they're really nice. And that only ended up being $7. So I was kind of upset that I didn't grab more. They only had a couple anyway, like th they were pretty picked over, really picked over. Um, we got one of these, actually we got three of these. This is just a metal bar. Um, you can hang it in your kitchen. Um, you can buy these hooks to go with it, which I got some hooks. I got some big hooks, but these are the small hooks. Um, and five come in this package of the smaller hooks and they look like this and then I got these are the same five I got some magnet some magnet things and they look like little clothes pins and they look like this and three come in a package and these are only a couple dollars so here's what the bigger hooks look like and three come in this pack and so it's like a hanging system. You can use it for the kitchen or your workshop, or I'm gonna use it in my craft room. Um, 
I also got a wooden spoon because you always need a wooden spoon, whether it's to spank your children or spank your dogs or just kidding. You always need a wooden spoon. Okay, so this is one thing that these got glitter all over them because they got put in a Dollar Tree bag, which if you shop at Dollar Tree, you know, is all glittered up. Everything, everything is glittered up. So I got these for my grandbaby to cook with. I don't know how much they were, but oh, these are Dollar Tree. Never mind. Okay. So I got this little tree. I only got one. It was like a dollar thirty something, I believe. I don't know how much it was. It was super cheap. Um. Anyway, we're gonna be glamming this up. We're gonna be we're gonna be jazzing this up for Christmas. It'll be in my next Christmas video. I got a bunch of things from Dollar Tree, and I can't wait to get started on that stuff. Okay. So this is my ultimate find at Ikea, um, which they have this all the time. It's nothing great, but I'm gonna use it as a spray paint tent. And it was, I believe, 12 or $13. And it is, I don't know what they call this thing. Vuku, it's a Vuku but it's like a little wardrobe and it zips up and it comes on a stand. And um, anyway, I'm gonna use it as a spray paint tent because this is cheaper than the spray paint tents on Amazon. They start at about $50. I thought you could find one for around 20 or 30 bucks. And I was like, okay, I could do that. But then I went to Ikea and I saw this and I swear it's like $12.99 maybe. Um, it's super cheap anyway whatever it is um and it's way cheaper than any spray paint tent that i found online so i'm going to be using it as a spray paint tent yay so i'm so excited about that okay okay well let's get into dollar tree so um our dollar tree has been very well we have two dollar trees in town and they have been very very slow at getting their christmas stuff out so um when we were rent, when we were in Kansas City, I made my husband stop at a couple of Dollar Trees, and let me tell y'all, he was not happy about it at all. Um, he's like, "We have Dollar Trees at home." I tried to explain to him, not every Dollar Tree carries the same stuff, so you have to go to a different Dollar Trees and find other stuff. So we did, and we stopped, and um, this is what I found. And, our Dollar Tree still, I mean, they're starting to get more and more stuff out, but very, very slowly, very, very slowly. Um, I found some of this ribbon. I got some glitter ribbon, which I've had before. Um, it was out at Halloween time. Um, some, it says Jolly Christmas. It says have a holly jolly, have a holly jolly Christmas on this one. Actually, I think my sister gave me these. These are in my sister haul except for that one, sorry. Well, we'll go ahead and go over the ribbon. This is in my sister haul, but anyway. So she had all this ribbon. I did not buy this ribbon. This one says Believe and it's in gray. Beautiful, red sheer ribbon, red decorative ribbon, super cute. White snowflakes, y'all can see that very well. And this says, have yourself a holly jolly Christmas. Super cute, super cute. Anyway, my sister gave me those. So this is what I did find at Dollar Tree. Um, the glitter ribbon, which they've had before. They had, I guess, last year. Um, so that's nothing new. Um, they did have these little wrists. My husband bought these, I don't know why, but he's gonna use them for something. But I assume for the toy run, they won't fit his wrists anyway, so I don't know what he's gonna use them for, but he got a couple of these bracelets from the Dollar Tree. He got, he got some necklaces. He complains about going there, but then he fills up the cart too, so. I know he likes it. Anyway, we got one for him and one for the grandbaby. So we got these 
I found these little silicone, which these are super cute. I, I don't know what you would use them for in real life other than for a toy kitchen. Um, the whisk maybe for egg, an egg or two, but these little spoons and little spatulas and little soup spoons, which this might be cool. You could make chocolate, chocolate um, candies with this little dipper here. Um, I don't know, maybe you could do some chocolatiering with these little silicone utensils. Anyway, super cute. They're for her stocking. She loves to play in the kitchen and, and um, pretend like she's cooking. So that's what uh, we got for her. So next I got these Merry Christmas glitter signs. Super cute. I'm gonna make something with those coming up. We also found these lighted. This is the necklace, not the garland, but so this is a necklace. Um, and I did see, I think one YouTuber made a um, garland with these. She put them together, made a garland, super cute. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm gonna have to find something different because I don't wanna copy her, her designs, but those are cute. Okay, now. These are adorable, but we're gonna have to wait till spring to use them because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Dollar Tree has been getting in some candles in different colors. I recently picked up some green ones and then I found this color. It's like a lilac color. See the purple? I'm gonna probably use these in springtime you could use these at Easter time. I mean, how cute are these? I got four of these for my table. I have a wooden box that we are going to be decorating soon. Um, and for, I think I'm just gonna skip Thanksgiving and we're just gonna get right into Christmas. Anyway, we're going to be decorating this wooden box here in the next video. And um, I'll show you what I do with those candles. I'm excited. Okay, so now our Dollar Tree didn't have these signs, the round signs, so I picked up one of these because I've been seeing everybody crafting with them and I'm like, I want to use one of those signs. So they had one there in Kansas City, so I got one. They also had the snowman head with the tall, with the tall hat. And I haven't seen these in ours yet, but hopefully you'll get some out soon. Um, but I thought he was super cute and I thought I might just paint something on the back. I don't know. Okay, so now I got me a tree. Actually, I have several trees because they've had those out for a while. I got this for my puppy dog. I only have one boy. So we got him a tie. I haven't seen these at any other Dollar Trees, but I found one in Kansas City. I thought that was super cute. I tried to get my husband to get one and he was like, nah. But I said, okay, well, I'm gonna get one for Leonidas. So I got one for my dog. My other dogs are girls, so they probably wouldn't appreciate that, but I don't know. They might, they get really jealous. I got some wood glue. It says super glue, wood glue. I'm gonna try it my wood glue I have wood glue but the top always gets dried and it's hard to open I found this there be the person your dog thinks you are I love that but I'm probably gonna make it over and it's like a it has a picture frame so it will sit up anyway I'm gonna make this over and maybe take it to work okay and some things that I did find there are some spoons. So our Dollar Tree hasn't had these. I haven't seen them yet. Um, my sister actually picked up, well, I had, oh, here we go. So I picked up one, because they only had one peppermint and one chocolate. And then my sister went um, to another Dollar Tree out of town and she found us some more. So she picked up two more and one chocolate. But my dogs decided that they needed the chocolate one worse than I did, so they ate one package. Yay! 
that's always fun when I come home and find my craft stuff all over the floor and um, they've gone through it and eaten the chocolate out of it. Fun, fun times. Fun times, y'all. Okay. I also got a couple of these boxes. I'm going to be making over these boxes in the next uh, craft video as well. And I just stacked them in here so that they wouldn't get messed up. But anyway, they're separate. They're two different sizes. I have an idea for them. Um, I don't think I've seen anybody do this yet. So hopefully I got to get that video out soon before somebody does it for me. Before me. Um, oh, wait. Okay, so this is also coming up, which I lost some holly berries. I don't know what that's off of, but I found this elf hat. I haven't seen that at any other Dollar Trees here in my town anyway, um, but maybe they're in your town. But I found this elf hat and we're gonna use that. And I also found this Santa hat. We haven't gotten these out yet. I don't know. And then I found this really pretty scarf, which I have some scarves over there, but none this color. This color is just awesome. Like it is perfect. It's red, gray with black stripe. And it's the perfect shade of red. It's not a bright red. It's like a rust red, which I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's gorgeous. And then the things that's getting glitter all over the place, which I just saw at my Dollar Tree last night that they actually got these signs in. So I got a couple of these. I got a Merry Christmas in red and in gold. And I'm thinking that wreath I made my friend the other day, thinking about putting one of these red ones on her wreath. I don't know what y'all think if that would look good on her wreath or not leave a comment down below and let me know what you think if that wreath needed some more something something or if it was fine just with the bow okay let's get into oh wait i got this too so i got this box we're going to be using this in the next uh diy video as well so coming up as well and i got a uh, spotlight they had some of these left over from summer it's covered in glitter I got a spotlight as well so we'll see it says solar steak light from Dollar Tree so I'm gonna put that out in the yard probably on some uh, Christmas decor okay so Joann's Joann's was having a sale the other day um, on their yarn for $1.99. So I got three colors. I got red, gray, and white. I'm gonna be making some pom-poms for a garland. So, and probably some tassels as well. So those will be super cute. I love the gray and the white. That red is just beautiful. Um, they also had this color in fur for my gnomes. This will be perfect for a bunny gnome Easter. Gotta think ahead, y'all. I didn't know you had to think six months ahead, but you do. Um, I got some infusible ink. This was 40% off. I have never used it before, so it'll be my first time. So I'm really excited to try it. I used my 50% off coupon and I got me one of these home decor chalk brushes. Love them. If you do not have one, you need to get one. If you use chalk paint and you're a painter, these are awesome. These are the best brushes. I have um, probably two others of these and I always use my coupon when I have a 60% off, I get a brush. If I have a 50% off, I get a brush always even if I don't need one I get a brush because they're just they're wonderful they're the best things ever honestly um, and then they had buy one get two free so I went to go get some greenery and I wanted I wanted this so this was $6.99 and the others were $6.99 also um, look how beautiful this is y'all 
we got pine cone, we have some, like, it looks like sugared, not really flocked, but a little bit flocked, uh, flocked pine cone, frosted, frosted berries, like just different kind of greenery. I love it. It's gorgeous. I wanted, I wanted more, but they only had one, literally one. That's it. I got some of this, which is glittery. <laughs> I like my glitter, even though it gets everywhere. I love it. It's kind of frosted, but it looks, I mean, it's glittery, but it kind of looks frosted from a ways away, but it's got berries and the greenery is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I got some flocked greenery just to kind of fill in. This is gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And each one of these is $6.99. So I got three of them for $6.99. I need to use up what I have. Remember, I have a I have a crafting supply hoarder habit, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's not really a hoarder habit. I just see it and I have to have it. And I think immediately, oh my gosh, I can make this with that. And then I get home and I go, oh my gosh, I already have that or I have so much. Anyway, um, okay, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. They had these 50% off. They are regularly $12.99. So, or yeah, $12.99. I got this, it was six bucks, this big ornament. I can't wait to make that over. I don't know if that's gonna be in the next video or not. This might've been, it might've been less than that because I thought it was like 60% off, but I think they're 50% off for sure. Um, $5.99, so this was 50% off. So I got it for $3. And I get butterflies because it reminds us of our mom. She was a butterfly freak. Um, it reminded her of her friend that passed. These were also $12.99. Um, these beautiful, beautiful butterflies, and they're kind of in a rosy blush color with gold. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make that color of a wreath or if I'm just gonna put it on my tree. I also got some silver ones. These are also $12.99, half off. How is there still a fly when it's freezing cold outside? I got some more burlap. Oh yes, I got some gray fur. Wait till you see what we're gonna do with that, y'all. Wait till you see, I'm so excited. That's gonna be in the next video, for sure, for sure. And I used my 40% off coupon for these. I also got some peppermint foaming hand soap, half off. It smelled so good. And I got some Stop Fray. I got that for the burlap. Even though I wanted to fray just a little bit. And I got some burlap. So our store, and I got all this in Kansas City because our store here, oh wait. I forgot about this. So I found this at Ikea. My daughter had one of these and I was like, I want that. I don't know where you got that, but I want that. She's like, mom, it's an Ikea bag. I'm like, okay. So I looked all over Ikea for this bag. I got glitter all over me, y'all. All over me. Glitter and now burlap hair. Oh, mess. Okay. So I looked all over Ikea for this bag and I mean all over. I found one, just one, at the checkout stands in a bin that was completely empty, except for this one bag. It is Velcro. And it's insulated. So it's Velcro and it's insulated. And it's got a short handle and a long handle that you can throw over your arm. Super nice, pretty wide bottom. Anyway, I wanted that bag really bad and I looked all over Ikea for it. Finally found one at the checkout stand. 
I thought it was, it was in a bin and it was marked like, I don't know. The bin was actually marked like $3.99 or something like that. And it ended up being a dollar something. And I was like, what? I would have bought two or three of those. I mean, I would have bought these and put gifts in these for Christmas and made gift bags. Perfect, perfect gift bag. Who doesn't want an insulated bag? And a nice one at that. One that you're not gonna tear up because of that fabric that they have on the outside. It's like the regular Ikea bags, um, kind of like that Tyvek fabric. I don't know, very, very durable. You're not gonna, you're not gonna mess up that bag for years to come. Okay, now y'all ready to get into my sister haul? Let's see what she brought me. Okay, we already know she brought me that ribbon. So she bought me, she brought me, she didn't buy me. She had this in her stash. One, two, three, four, five. Five rolls of ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna save that one for last because that's a good one. She brought me little foam balls. She brought me a little comb. She brought me some of these trees from Dollar Tree. Oh. We'll have to decorate with this stuff. And here's another one. LED trees. Cute. Oh. Chalkboard tags. Dollar Tree. Oh, there's some top hats in here. Oh, you can make a snowman. Oh, she brought me some fall stuff. Ooh, these leaves. These leaves, y'all. These would be super cute. I'll have to make something with these for next year. Um, so we got turkeys and we got maple leaves. Wood. I didn't buy either of those this fall. Metal word happy. Oh, another Christmas tree. What trees did she bring me, for goodness sakes? Some more balls. So I have three different sizes of balls here. We can make a bucket full of uh, snowballs. Oh, this home sign, this little house sign that says gather. I think mine says love. I have one. Oh, here's some more top hats. Ooh, we could probably make a garland with this stuff. And the Christmas trees. Oh. I don't know what that is. Some lights. Some little... Oh, there's different sizes of clothespins. Sterno burners. Fancy heat. I don't know why she brought me these, but fancy heat. I'll have to figure something out with those. And then I got three glitter balls here. I don't think they light up. They're just glittery balls. LED. Oh, LED glitter ornaments. Hmm. How do they come on? So they're LED glitter ornaments. I have no idea how they come on. Oh, you just turned the top. Oh, those are cool. Look at that. Can't you see the colors. Oh my gosh, she gave me three of those. She didn't want them? Oh, there's another top hat. So I got five of those. Some LED snowflake lights. Y'all, we're gonna be crafting forever. She brought me some black and white checkered gingham. Like she already ripped up the strips. Those will go with the hats. Garland. Ringing in my head and a natural sponge. Cool. What is this? I don't know if this is a placemat. Oh, it's a towel. Look, look at how cute this is. It's got little red fringe on the bottom. It's black and white checked with little red fringe and it's a tea towel. Huh, cool. I don't know why she didn't want that, but 
whatever, I'll take it in a basket. And she brought it all in a cute little basket. Oh wait, I used to have a basket like this. I painted it white. <laughs> I think we got these baskets at Walmart. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I just have a basket like this. But I saved the best for last. She brought me this lantern. Cute. I'm thinking these trees can go in this lantern with some greenery. And maybe those snowflake lights. I don't know. Super cute. This will definitely be in our next video and we'll have to make it over into a Christmas scene. Gorgeous, love it. And it can sit outside because it's metal. So we can go on the front porch. So we can decorate the front porch, y'all. So I have more videos coming up. I'm gonna be doing another Christmas video. I'm going to be doing um, a decorate with me. We're gonna be putting up the tree. We're gonna be decorating the house for Christmas. Um, we're going to be decorating the porch for Christmas. I have to get down all my Halloween stuff um, and get that going. So stay tuned. I will link a video. Um, I'll put my last Christmas video in the description box below. If there's anything that you want to know more about, just let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what your favorite thing was. Oh, wait, I forgot something. She brought me this too. I think it lights up. It's like a pumpkin but it looks like a mercury glass pumpkin. And she brought me this too. Look, I have stuff sitting all over the place. This is like a candy mold. Just one though. Super cute. I had it turned upside down. <laughs> so I love these, I love these. Tell me what you liked the best. If there was an item that you liked that you just loved or you couldn't, you haven't been able to find. Has your Dollar Tree gotten out their Christmas stuff yet? Have you been able to get all the Christmas stuff that you want? Um, I know it's early, but really it's the 4th of November and Christmas is gonna be here before you know it. Um, tell me what your favorite thing was either from my Dollar Tree haul, my Ikea haul, or my sister haul. I hope you have a great night. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified of any new videos that um, I upload. I'm going to try to keep on a schedule and upload those videos every Monday. Remember to make your passion a priority. Life is short, y'all. Have a blessed night and we'll see you later.